Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Evolution X version 7.4, but this is different build maintainer. You can see here, and the build date is also December 27, 2022. Latest build to Bharti is the build maintainer here. And build number you can see ceiling status is enforcing kernel user is 4.14.290 little bit different here and december 5th security patch already made a video on this evolution x 7.4 that is different and this is different and android version is 13 that's fine and i've been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes and six milliseconds i mean six seconds and five milliseconds you can see the maximum score is 196 average is 188 and minimum is 149 and it's throttled to 92 percent of its max performance which is good in my opinion and one more highlight of this particular rom is the camera application here we get anx camera support and with this anx camera support you also get leica integration you can choose either vibrant or authentic color code i mean if you want vibrant then it will make little bit of difference when you capture a photo if i can show you i try to capture a photo in this is in the vibrant and now i try with authentic okay i captured both the images if you can make out difference let's check out this is with second option and this is with vibration yeah there is a little bit of difference not a big but that's how it is the camera quality is definitely the nx camera the miui camera has superior quality compared to any other gcam ports but gcam ports will enhance the hdr and some of the options in low light then you need to use gcam ports definitely the gcam ports are also going to work in this particular room but having a miui camera as a inbuilt camera is a boon to this particular room hope so you guys also like this this is a pretty good room you can see this is a quick settings panel and the edit section you get plenty of options the ui is very very smooth i don't know what kernel because of kernel or because of different maintainer using this this is little bit smoother compared to the what 7.4 what i seen before definitely this one has a, a lot more fluidity compared to that particular one and added this mio camera is a boon as i said before and uh, if you press and hold here you get wallpaper style and widgets definitely everything is been given here and home settings if i want to go again you need to get here uox launcher settings and miscellaneous settings you can see here the launcher itself is now uox launcher and wallpaper sun style again change wallpaper so you get feathers and some less the evolution x wallpaper and you also get this paper so you get lot more wallpapers here if want you can use that that's how the customization of the home screen and if i swipe here and this is the app drawer limited apps i just don't want to use and two and i again don't want to try the bgm or whatever it is i already use this rom but maintaining with different maintenance and kernel changes and this addition of miui camera i thought i would definitely make this video hence for that if you guys can give it a like i will be appreciated to make similar kind of videos and also if you are first time to this channel hit the subscribe button down below guys and also allow that bell notification yes whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and coming to internet connectivity here also i never seen any problem and DRM information is also level one and this safety net status also get passed no need to worry regarding that you get fm radio as pre-installed here if i go into settings you can see the evolver here also there are similar customization and miscellaneous you get unlimited photo storage and unlock higher face in games and some game space and parallel space is also given here and always on display schedule also you can do from here and animations again it's very simple buttons customization lock skin customization power menu customization and quick settings customization over that notifications again there are customizations status bar also you can customize the battery style battery percent some of the status bar items from here and in the themes into the dark theme i really like the integration of this pure black or let me go here use custom theme the vivid monet it will be in pitch black condition i really like that inclusion they should continue this and uh, this all the other customization you can do in the evolver settings and moving into actual settings here you get notifications again conversion mobiles device and app notifications 
enhanced notifications you can enable or disable from them and battery again the battery life is good nowadays every rom having very good battery life i don't know it's magic with android 13 or it's really magic with the kernels using but anyhow battery life is very very good in my opinion and adaptive right preferences battery charge warning extreme battery saver is not there just battery saver is yeah extreme battery saver is also given here which is good thing that's how it is and uh, say capacity cycles you can read here sound and vibration you get basic settings here silent media mode and uh, direct sound settings here hi-fi audio is missing but still it's good they have given these four options you can enhance them and dolby atmos is also not present here motor dolby atmos will it be a deal breaker let me know in the comment section guys you need this enhanced sound experience like motor dolby atmos and hi-fi audio system or inclusion of mui camera which one you need let me know in the comment section if you're watching the full video if i want to specify something let me know in the comment section you can comment down below guys such that i can understand i can make improvements i can speak about that in the next video more on that particular topic and moving into display you get lock screen customization here screen timeout you can choose up to 30 minutes dark theme as i said before you can schedule it out also display and size text you can increase in order to make this look better you can play around it and night light feature also you can schedule and you can adjust the intensity and live display is option also given and colors again there are many options and maximum minimum refresh rate and low power refresh rate you can adjust from here tap to wake is also working fine ambient display again you need to use this in order to get the notifications per app refresh rate also you can select from here and accessibility menu which is a handy feature i'm the only person will be explaining about this without using the actual buttons you can use that that's really a handy feature and some other audio adjustment you can do if you want to listen high volume from top speaker then you can adjust towards left if you want uh, more from bottom speaker then you can adjust to right that's how it is moving into security features you get here yeah pattern i mean face and fingerprint unlock let me show you this speeds now the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very quick again the wobbling effect that's still present and now the face unlock recognizing face let me look the face yeah it's also fast as you can see it's also quick enough to unlock your smartphone using this particular rom the fingerprint and face unlocks are very good in my opinion again moving this highlight of the video is the mui integration the mui camera the nx camera integration with leica you get these options i try to find out some more options whatever we get you get this log pro in order to shoot some of the videos in log mode there are this vlog pro added it's not available in poco x3 with mui any updates just here it is inclusion with this particular rom the maintainer has been added very good for his try definitely it's going to become a good inclusion in my opinion they should try this in the upcoming builds also and portrait mode you get these options regarding blur and this options was present but this one was not present you can see here you can choose whatever you need to capture a photo movie frame and again settings here also there are a lot more options first thing you need to do this whatever the settings i mean the uh, yeah picture quality keep it super it's by default kept to high keep it super and watermark you get plenty of options custom watermark is there but the leica watermark has not been included yet let's see if the upcoming builds they can add these things and modifications instructions also you can do here and i really like this palm shutter and voice shutter and this all the other settings we need to check in this particular rom and you can see here a watermark and movie effects again this is also not present in the poco x3 with any update of mui this how the rom is this generally we can expect in mui based custom roms but it's present in this aosp evolution x which is very good in my opinion people looking for it from months and years that inclusion of mui camera with pre-installed aosp that too with android 13 and one more thing i have noticed is 
the free ROM available between the actual RAM you can see in the bottom of the screen you need not enable or disable that by default it's available here and you can take the screenshot and clear it out these are the features and I want to mention it out with this regarding update evolution 7.4 if you like the video give it a like guys and if you want to try this ROM as a daily driver go ahead and flash this ROM flashing method is very simple as you check on my videos previous videos same method just use this rom zip file instead of that rom zip file this is a very good rom battery life i need to test it for a couple of days then i can judge the battery life overall it's a very good rom with inclusion of this camera and other basic settings like notification toggles everything is working fine i did not see any problems here if you want you can use gcam ports also that's not the problem here it's a very good rom evolution x 7.4 that's good in my opinion they maintain the same here in the upcoming builds as of now this is a very good rom available for poco x slash nfc you can definitely use it as a daily error no other point in that if you have any specific questions regarding this rom let me know in the comment section guys and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now